The Andy Enfield era is finally over at USC. He has officially departed and with that, a new hire has been made. SC has gone out and made a big time splash hire in Arkansas head coach Eric Musselman. I've seen a lot of USC fans very lukewarm on this hire, but listen to this video before you make a final judgment. There's a lot to love about this hire and I am absolutely fired up for the direction of this program. Before we get into it though, what's up guys? My name is Gabe and welcome into the Trojan Blade. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers here on the channel. So if you're enjoying the content, please do hit that subscribe button. It would really help me out a ton. Thank you so much and let's get to this. All right, so Eric Musselman. Anyone thinking this isn't a big time hire is completely mistaken. Eric has been the head coach at Arkansas since 2019. Before he got there, that program was irrelevant. Not a factor at all, complete dumpster fire. Since then, he's guided them to three Sweet 16s and two Elite Eights. He actually went back to back Elite Eight in 2021 and 2022. Overall, he's 111 and 59 in his time there. And before Arkansas, he was the head man at Nevada. He took them to three tournament appearances as well and an overall 110 and 34 record. So this is a proven winner with some big time tournament success. He also has some major NBA roots as well, being the head coach of the Golden State Warriors from 2002 to 2004. He was also the Kings head coach from 06 to 07. And just looking at the way people talk about him, people from Jeff Van Gundy to Jeremy Lin just heaping loads of praise upon coach, both for his developmental skills as well as his offensive mind. Jeff Van Gundy went as far as to call him a brilliant offensive mind. Now this is a homecoming for Eric. He actually went to the University of San Diego. He has a deep love for the West Coast. His wife is very active on social media as well. I just think their family is going to fit in perfectly in LA. But in terms of play style, this is going to be fun. He plays a very watchable style of basketball. It's fast paced, it's up and down the court which if you've watched any USC basketball over the last five years, this team has not had an identity. I couldn't even begin to tell you what our play style was this last year. Just couldn't do it. We're not going to have that issue anymore. We're going to be a very, very fun team to watch week in, week out. Now, in terms of roster construction, this is where I'm the highest on Coach Musselman. He is the most active transfer portal coach out there. College basketball isn't like college football. In basketball, I would much rather have a Drew Peterson, a Tajidi, a Boogie Ellis, as opposed to some high school kid that you have no idea what he's gonna turn into. Now, this doesn't mean you completely veer away from high school recruiting, but building through the portal is 100% the route I would wanna take. And you're going to see that USC is going to be a player for these top portal guys year in, year out. You wanna bring in experience, you wanna bring in guys who have been there, done that, and not necessarily from these bigger schools. If you wanna to go to the Ivy League, like we did for Drew Peterson. If you wanna look at the in-state mid-majors, there's a ton of talent all across the country at all sorts of schools. And when you have a coach that's this in on the transfer portal, you're probably gonna end up finding some of those guys that are really gonna help you come tournament time. Now in football, whenever SC takes a transfer, one of my first checks I do is to see what the fan base of the school the kid is coming from are saying. Looking at the Arkansas fan base today, they're devastated. They love him there in Fayetteville. Now this guy is a little intense. He's a little out there. You see him ripping his shirt off after big wins. You see him getting a bunch of technical fouls. Honestly, I think a fiery character like that is going to work in LA. I think it's gonna work at USC. My biggest problem with Andy Enfield, especially at the end of this run here, the program is incredibly stale. There's no energy, there's no juice, there's no passion in the program really. Not to say that's entirely Andy's fault or he was doing it intentionally, just some things in life just run their course. And I think his tenure at USC has definitely run its course. So not only are we getting a refresh, we're getting an entirely different sort of personality taking the helm here. But again, in college basketball, the only thing that matters is the tournament. It's how you play in March. And if Eric Musselman has shown us one thing over his career as a college coach, it's that he does his best work in March, which is exactly what USC needs. I mean, God, we made one Elite Eight run in Andy Enfield's tenure, and we put up a goddamn banner in the Galen Center. So definitely gonna have to switch up our expectations. Don't know how we're gonna do in year one with coach. Obviously gonna see what portal moves he makes, if he brings over any players from Arkansas. And obviously this Bronny James entering the portal thing is still in the balance. He's not officially in the portal as of now. But yeah, a lot remains to be seen. Very, very excited about this hire. If you guys do want more basketball content on this channel, please do let me know. Smash that like button. That is how I will know if you're enjoying the content. And if the basketball stuff isn't a total flop here on the channel, I will start covering them regularly. Obviously love USC basketball, so I would have a blast doing that. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on Coach Musselman down below and just your thoughts about the basketball program going forward. Definitely want to say thank you to Coach Enfield for what he did for our program. Obviously, USC basketball was in turmoil when he came in. He made us relevant again. Forever grateful for that, but very, very excited for this new path with Coach Musselman. All right, guys, that'll do it for me. Thank you so much for all your support. You guys are all awesome. And as always, take care and fight on.